Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my Game of Thrones Legends mobile game content. So today I've got some news for you. <clears throat> It's going to be a short little quick video just to let you know that if you remember right about a week ago I posted a video in which I was telling you about a new summon bonus event coming up called the Harvest Festival. Well, it's live folks. Now I do not know if this is live on every single person's account or not. But I'm just going to say that it is live on my account, and it is live on a lot of people's account on my Discord. I haven't seen anyone say that they do not have it yet, so I'm kind of suspecting that it was a global launch. Because this is an event that's designed to get people spending money, so I think they would be wise to get it going, and they did. So the egg event summon has went away finally after the egg event ended and now we have the harvest festival on all of these banners. Eight tokens for ten summons. So basically when you do a max pull instead of it being ten or nine now it's eight. So it's a little bit of a break. You still have your pity mechanic on here as well so that when you pull 80 you have the ability to get 15 of the hero you have selected so i mean it's on all these banners now i'm going to assume that they're going to rotate out and there's going to be different ones in here because in my video i actually showed you a daenerys one that was a rate up and Harvest Festival banner. So that one has to work its way in here at some point. So these are going to be up for seven days. It went live two hours ago. And eventually some other ones are going to rotate in here. Does that mean this is going to last for a few weeks? Well, it looks like it. It looks like, and I'm going to hazard a guess here. I'm going to say that it looks like these are probably going to be live for about two to three weeks so that they have time to rotate some different banners through here every seven days. If they do two sets of rotations, then that would be 14 days. Um, today is the 18th. So, you know, we're right in the middle of fall. We're right in the middle of Thanksgiving season. So this is harvest time. Typically, in most areas of the world, it's considered harvest time. Now, this normal color summon right here does not have the Harvest Festival bonus on it, and it looks like it's rotating out at its normal time frame. So, it'll be interesting to see what happens when the next one pops up. Will it actually have a Harvest Festival bonus or not? I do not know. The Daily Summon does not have a Harvest Festival bonus. It is still the same thing as always. And the Valerian Shard does not have a Harvest bonus on it as well. It is still the same thing as always. So what is affected? It's these Featured Summons right here. These one, two, three, four Featured Summons. Obviously this one is in line with the Gold Road that is currently active. And then you have three other Featured Summons that have the Harvest Festival on them. I'm going to assume that these are going to rotate out with something else. And I'm also going to take a big guess and say that I assume that they'll be here for at least two to three weeks. I do not know. I do not have any information on the dates. I have not seen any posts that they have made telling us, hey, the Harvest Festival is live. You'd think they would announce that, but yeah, whatever. Maybe they will in a couple days. <clears throat> after the events ran for a couple of days already <laughs> but anyway we've got the Kalasar which is Drogo and Khaleesi the yellow Daenerys that's a good one if you're into the Free Cities team this is definitely one that you may want to consider pulling on I'm tempted to pull on this but oh, I just don't know I, my Daenerys and my Drogo are kind of far away from token levels right now to their next star so eh, probably not probably just going to save my tokens the green team and the birthright mechanic team 
they're here. If you're interested in that, you may want to pull on those. Uh, it's uh, Alicent, Otto, and Amond. I don't really have any of these characters, and nor do I really like that mechanic, so I don't really know anything about it. So I haven't really, can't really tell you whether it's worth it or not. I see some people using these people, but not many, but I do see some. Kragus, uh, and the Triarchy Pirate Captain, nah, I wouldn't waste my tokens on that. A green summon for him? The Crab Feeder? <laughs> okay. Nobody uses him. I wouldn't waste my tokens on that. That's a complete waste. So don't pull here. Um, so yeah, that's the Harvest Festival. It is now live. Eight tokens for ten summons. So if you're interested in doing that, be sure and jump in there and look, check it out because it is live. Bruce Bolton, Walter Frey, this one's live too with Harvest Festival. For 20 days, you're going to get that bonus. So yeah, check it out. So thank you for watching my content. I really appreciate it. Um, if you are interested in finding a community where you can hang out and talk about the, the game and, and have a good time, then uh, think about joining my Discord. The link to the Discord is in my description of all my videos. And if you're welcome to join, if you'd like to, I will talk at you later, though. I hope you can find a way to have some fun in this game today. Maybe with this harvest mechanic and saving a few shards here and there, you can feel better about your pull attempts, I hope. Have a good day. I'm off to play King Arthur Legends Rise. See you later.